Hey. Hello. It is me, not Ed Sheeran. It is me, Joy Joy Lucky. And welcome back to my second sort of discussion-ish video. This time with better audio because yay. So, chapter 4 at the time of this recording I believe is only 18 to 19 days away from getting into our greasy very very sweaty hands I'm excited I'm incredibly excited I we we have been waiting over a year for this and finally it is within arm's reach but I'm not gonna say any more because then it's probably going to get delayed by another month, so I think I'm going to shut my mouth now. So, a thing that's been stirring in my head a lot is how are the powers going to work in Chapter 4? Are we going to see a new meta? Now, if you don't understand what I mean by a meta, it's a power that throughout all levels grants big success. We know, for example, Primal Fear is a very... I would say right now the meta power is definitely Primal Fear. I would say without a doubt Primal Fear is the meta right now, you know, you can't get better than actually just halting the enemies in their tracks. But we got lots of news about traps and enemy speeds from the Q&A live streams. We've also have been told that some powers will, that powers will be getting balanced upon Chapter 4's release. So I think that's safe to say stuff like powers will be getting nerfed, and if we're lucky, some powers might get buffed, but I wouldn't count on that. I think what Vince meant is some of the powers, maybe even all of them, are going to get a slight nerf, or even a sort of a tweak, in a way. So there are still currently two powers we don't really know much about. Um, telekinesis we're still kind of in the dark about. However, Vanish we now kind of... I think we've now got a good understanding on how Vanish will work. So I'm going to go over all six powers in this video. And I'm going to say what my personal opinion is and say... What should you be investing your skill points into? The main talk about this is discussion on to how they will play the role that they're supposed to in the chapter... And also, if what powers you should be upgrading to the max, because you only have a certain amount of skill points. I believe the max you can have after Crazy Carnival is 22 skill points, which is what I currently have. And with that, you're able to fully max two powers and take one power to nearly max, so one level off max. But then that means you've got one power which is completely not touched which is usually telepathy telepathy is always the one that people say you should do last my personal opinion primal fear and teleport are the two you should be investing first and then speed boost you should bump up to the fourth level telepathy yeah but we'll see because i've said a lot i think some powers we don't really use as much as others i know a lot of people still don't use teleport that much everybody uses speed boost everyone uses primal fear so let's hop on into it. Yeah, that that's a good start. Sorry guys, I don't know what I'm doing with my... There we go. Woo! That is embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, speed boost. The first power up and the one that every YouTuber just loves to spam. You don't believe me? Go watch any YouTuber, Corey Kenshin, 8-Bit Ryan Docco, watch them all, they will always have speed boost out and they will always be spamming this thing to hell. Because who doesn't, let's be honest. I personally think speed boost is going to get a bit of a nerf. And I also think speed boost is not going to be as useful in chapter 4 as it is in chapters 1 to 3. And that's because, first of all, there are several reasons. Now, for each power, I've made these beautiful million dollar artwork paint things here. Yes, I am. I actually don't have a life. I'm going to get back to those in a minute. It's, um, I've made each to kind of discuss how useful they're going to be for chapter four. It's mostly all mascot mayhem, but I will include stuff like Barely Buried and um, Torment Therapy as well. First of all, Torment Therapy. 
it is confirmed that the Reaper nurses and the Matron are faster than your speed boost. Already off the bat, the first level of chapter 4, the enemies can counter your speed boost. Oh dear, <laughs> not a good start for speed boost. I think if you're far enough away, far, what, what? I think if you're far enough away, you can kind of slip around a corner and lose sight of them. But overall, I don't think speed boost is going to be the greatest investment for this. Because for chapter 4, I think for the most part, before you head into the next level, you're going to want to reset your powers. And you're going to want to think of what power loadout are you wanting to take in for the next level. So Torment Therapy, it looks like speed boost may not be very useful. So you might want to invest a bit more in probably telepathy, I think, would be a huge one for Torment Therapy. Um, teleportation, Primal Fear, and maybe even Telekinesis, who knows. Maybe Telekinesis might have something that can stagger enemies. The second reason is actually in Mascot Mayhem. So let me take you to my first masterpiece. Now, no, this is not a donut swimming in a, a pool of lava with... And no, this donut is not growing hands that are longer than, like, trees. But, you know, it, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Um, that This is my million dollar art project. I think it went pretty well. Um, I'm getting a, I'm going to be getting the an art award for this. It's pretty dope. Leonardo da Vinci would cut off both ears for this. Anyway. I've made the little, they're they're really crappy, but they get, they understand the point. I've made one for each power. We'll get to them in time. Speed boost. If you have no idea, this is Mascot Mayhem. This is Molten Steel. I just drew in lines. I know it looks like squiggly lines, so Molten Steel apparently sw swiggly. Squiggly, why can't I say that? Yeah, so this is Zone 3. So this is the part of Zone 3 we all know. It's like the circular... Um, point, kind of the big circular, I mean, it doesn't look like it's a sort of a platform, like a turning platform. I think it's just a big walkway, and then this is, of course, the walkway. Similar to the ones we've seen, no, I can't talk. Similar to the ones we've seen in Zone 2, with the Hangry Teaser. What are these? Vince confirmed, I believe it was the most recent Q&A, Vince confirmed that the Molten Steel will also back up as a trap. You can die, you can fall into the steel. So you may be asking how? My theory, this is my theory, this is speculation time, kiddies, is platforms on the walkways that will open and close. So every now and again the platforms will open to create a pit which drops straight down, that's what the red's for, it's to show a danger, to show like a kind of a danger, a falling danger. Speed boost isn't going to help with that. <laughs> At even, although they might take it to the extreme level and they might freaking make it that there are just gaps in the walkways and you can only teleport past them. If they did that, y you can already imagine that yeah, <laughs> that's tough. That is tough. But if it is the moving platforms, of course you can use speed boost to get across quickly before they, you know, open again. But I think overall, telepathy and teleport are going to be much more useful than speed boost here. Again, this is all just speculation. Don't make don't 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 think I'm some sort of messiah and I just know everything about chapter four, and that I'm just going to be able to tell you the best like power loadouts for each level because no this is my speculation and what I think based on information given to us from the official sources Glossic Entertainment that is what I'm using for this so moving platforms however if they're not if they're pets then even worse if they're moving platforms that's still better but on the other hand for getting away from the joy joy gang we still don't really know how fast lucky is i think i can't remember if vin said that speed boost is faster than his speed boost i can't remember but i think i it's safe to presume that speed boost will be useful in mascot mayhem to get away from enemies but not so to traverse 
the environment. So speed boost, I am going to give the speed boost one, a, a, like a sort of a one green line. I'm going to give each power a green line or a red line depending on how I think they're going to be useful for. And I'm going to give them one for each level. So green is mascot mayhem, red will be torment therapy, and barely buried will be brown. So mascot mayhem, I'm gonna give it one green. I'm gonna give it a half green line. I'm probably about to rub out the picture, but who cares? Yeah, I rubbed out the picture. As you can see, I am very skilled in the field of art, but you get the idea. Yeah. Actually, I kind of like that. That actually looks cool. <laughs> what? Why am I taking praise in this kid's drawing? This abomination. I'm giving it a half tick. I feel like it's going to be useful to get away from enemies, but traversing the environment, I have a feeling speed boost might cause some unwanted death. As for Torment Therapy, I am personally going to give it no red line. So instead of a line, I give it a sort of a little dot, a big, very, very thick dot. So I think Torment Therapy speed boost is not going to be very helpful. Barely Buried... If gravity physics are in it with the downward slopes, I think Barely Buried will get the full tick. I feel like Barely Buried will benefit from the speed boost. So that's my, f that's my, my speculation, my opinion. That is my result for speed boost in chapter four. Torment Therapy, I personally think is not really going to be beneficial. Mascot Mayhem, half, I gave it the half line. And Barely Buried, I think speed boost is going to be great. So long story short, what I'm probably going to be doing is, I won't invest in it for Torment Therapy. I'll put a little bit into it for Mascot Mayhem and I'll max it for Barely Buried. Teleport. I think this power is going to be great. Teleportation is my personal favourite power. Very underrated. The most underrated power, although you could argue telepathy's the more underrated power, which actually probably, yeah, my bad. I take that back. But teleportation, still not used a lot. Used by the speedrunners, of course, but YouTubers don't really use this power at all. And it's sad because this is a great power. I honestly, I don't see where you could go wrong with teleportation. Let's go back to the, the Leonardo da Vinci art gallery. Now, this is barely buried. Yeah, so, yeah, there's Doug. Hi. <laughs> As you can see, Doug's actually only got one leg. Um, his other leg isn't even attached to his body, which is quite interesting, but we'll just ignore that for now. This is Barely Buried example. Vince said that it will be hard to manoeuvre with teleport in the Barely Buried due to Barely Buried being the most hilly level. It's going to be the first level that really starts to have all these sloping areas. Now, what you're seeing on screen, the red shows the teleportation distance. Now, this line, there's two lines, so you've got the red going down the slope and you've got the orange which just keeps going horizontally. So this line here shows the distance of teleport, okay? So that's the full distance at max. But for my speculation, for barely buried, this will be at the max distance. Due to the slope, it will use up more of the teleport's distance. So that means you won't honestly be getting very much bang for your buck. Again, that's not confirmed. All we know is teleport's not going to be very good. Vin said it's not going to be great in Barely Buried. But he said it'll still be useful, but he said it won't be as easy. And I also personally think that the sloping mechanic, it happens in Deadly Decadence. The stairs, the teleports decrease, like the range is decreased. So I think that it's safe to presume that that's going to happen in Barely Buried as well. Torment Therapy, however. Torment Therapy, Mascot Mayhem. Torment Therapy, I'm going to give it that big old tick. I don't see any problem. I think it's going to be much better than the speed boost for those Reaper nurses and the boss. Mascot Mayhem, I also think, even if the pitfall trap becomes true, that means teleport's even better. But for Barely Buried, I'm going to give it the half tick. But still, teleportation shows its strength once more. Telepathy. 
this power may possibly, this is just me going out, I might be going completely off the rails here, but telepathy may possibly be the best power up for chapter 4. Why? Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Telepathy you will let you see the enemies. Pretty self-explanatory. I think personally in Mascot Mayhem, the telepathy power is going to be overpowered. Because there's only three animatronics, the clones might appear later, but if you can see the free animatronics, and if there's only a few in certain zones, then you can so easily avoid them. So yeah, so here's another one of my um, world famous drawings. So yeah, it's just an example like Fick Hangry, but look, you can see Hangry. Will telepathy be a great power? Yes. Is telepathy very underrated in my opinion? Yes. Telepathy is a great power. People just do not give it enough credit. And I personally think telepathy is going to be one of the best or even the best power up for chapter 4. Again, in my opinion. And you, especially for the Reaper nurses going invisible, especially for the free Joy Joy gang members, and especially for those trigger teddies that Mama Bear is going to be spawning. Telepathy gets the full big tick. Telepathy, 100%. I think you should max out telepathy for all Chapter 4 levels. But if you don't want to, you don't need to. Again, just my opinion. Primal Fear, I really don't need to say anything about Primal Fear. Yes, of course. Even the drawing says it itself. Yes, Primal Fear, absolutely. You should have Primal Fear maxed for any level. Primal Fear is an amazing power-up. If you don't have it maxed, then what are you doing? So yes, um, the lines are a bit smaller, but that's alright. So yes, yes, and yes. It's Primal Fear... It's an amazing power overall. It probably will be getting nerfed with Chapter 4, but even then, still, definitely, I highly recommend Primal Fear. Primal Fear should always be maxed. Always be maxed. There's not really an argument to it. You need to have Primal Fear maxed. Now we get to the last two power-ups, Vanish and Telekinesis. Out of the two, I am much more excited for Telekinesis. I'm really excited to see how it works. Vanish, I think we kind of already know how it works. Telekinesis, my speculation for telekinesis is it will act as, a, it will form, it's what the Frebe did with his Torment Therapy fan game. I think the way the Frebe thought it would work is how it's going to work. You're going to have this force field around you and you will be able to walk for a few seconds with this telekinetic force field and if you walk and if shards enter the field, boom. Shards enter the field, mine, 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 mine. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm making my drawing even more beautiful. I don't know though. So these two, it's hard to rank these two because how do we know? <laughs> but telekinesis, it also looks like it will be needed to open doors and um, like raise bars. So I think it's at least safe to presume that for torment therapy, it's an absolute. I think we can agree that Torment Therapy, Telekinesis will definitely be a must. As for Mascot Mayhem and Barely Buried, I can't really give it a rating right now because we don't really know. So I'm just going to give those both a sort of the, you know, the, the sort of the dots. That, I know I, I rated that earlier for Speed Boost, that means like useless pretty much, but no. It just means we don't know. Nearly done with the video, the last one, of course, Vanish. I think it's pretty obvious what Vanish does. You turn invisible. How long will it last? I don't know. Vanish is also a bit of a tricky one. It's very obvious what Vanish will do. I think, overall, it's pretty safe to assume that Vanish is going to be useful no matter where. For Torment Therapy and Barely Buried, I'm going to give it the tick. But for Mascot Mayhem, I'm going to give it the dot. Just due to the fact that we don't exactly... I know it's been said in the old audio files that the Vanish power will hide you from the camera. But do we... Vin said that a lot has changed 
a lot has changed since those audio files were recorded. So I'm really curious, does Vanish still hide you from the cameras? I know that's probably a stupid question, I think probably the obvious answer is yes. But, for now I'm just going to give it that. But I will be generous and I'll give it this. I'll give it the half tick. But I'm also going to put the dot in there because we still don't know. I think probably yes. I think I'm probably being stupid. If it does hide you from the cameras, then that will be a full tick, 100%. If it hides you from the cameras, vanish, definite. But I think it probably is. So vanish, I think overall, will definitely be a must. And that's it. Short-ish video. Thank you for watching my amazing artwork skills weird video today but I really I'm a DD channel I'm not a monsters and mortals channel and I'm not a soul dark deception channel I want to spread out I want to do different types of videos I'm also planning on doing an ultimate rank ranking video I would love to do a I would love to even do like a character ranking video I would love to, to do you know DD challenges I've kind of started doing the DD challenges series so I'm probably do more for that but what are my final thoughts? Like, ve to very quickly summarise. Like, very quickly. I personally think that Speed Boost is going to get... Is going to lose a bit of its fame. I think Teleport is still going to be great, except in Barely Buried, where it's going to be a bit nerfed on its own end. Telepathy, I think, is going to be incredible must. I really would highly recommend. I... I... Don't worry... If you end up investing a full max telepathy and it kicks you in the butt, you can come to my channel and spread hate. Because, but I really would recommend you to fully upgrade this for chapter 4. Again, if it doesn't work in your favour, either you're doing it wrong or I'm an idiot. But I really have high hopes for telepathy. Primal Fear, again, obvious. Everybody should have Primal Fear maxed. There's no counter-argument. You need to have that maxed. Telekinesis, we don't know much, but I personally have very high hopes. I think Telekinesis is also going to be a big tick. And Vanish, again, I think will also be a tick. So anyway, that sums up my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't bore you too much. This is kind of the first time this type of video has been done where it's actually summing up what powers are going to be best for what. Thank you very much for watching. There will be no video tomorrow, but Tuesday there will. Thank you so much for watching and have a joyful day.